Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rob. Today what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick a recipe out of my uh, backyard barbecue recipes and journal. Um, you, you can pick this up at uh, Amazon. It's got plenty of nice recipes in here. Uh, today we're gonna do, uh, and actually the first one in here, the bone-in chicken thighs. Um, basically, follow it along here. Uh, actually, the first first couple things are how to um, get the thighs ready. But you know what I want to do is, is is get this ready first. We're going to get this up to about 375 degrees. Let's do that now. All right, lift this up and let this go for about five minutes before we actually turn it on. And if you guys aren't using one of these now, then um, you need to start. I don't even drag a, uh, an electrical cord out here anymore. I just use this thing all the time. So there's a link down below for that as well. You want two things. You probably might already have one of these battery packs. Uh, if not, there's a link for that. But the main thing you want is this cord. Yeah, so we'll be back in a couple minutes and uh, adjust the temps to about 375. It's getting pretty warm in there, actually pretty nice. All right, next thing we're gonna do, put this back on, I actually scraped it off a little bit. It was getting kind of gross on there. Put our main grate on. There goes that. Actually, let it warm up a little bit, and I'll do that some more. Um, lately, uh, I've had some creosote build up on the top vent. So what this will do is kind of melt it away a little bit so I can open it easy. All right, next, power it on. I'm gonna set it to 375, like the book says. I'm gonna go D3, I'm gonna go a little bit below D3. All right, let's go ahead and get that chicken ready. Okay, let's go ahead and get these. I got four chicken thighs here, bone in. So what we want to do is take these, and pat them dry. Next, I'm going to optionally spray them with a little bit of cooking stuff, so Pam. We're gonna use uh, Uncle Steve's sweet and spicier. You see, I'm not gonna trim off any of this goodness. That's gonna crisp up nice. Spraying it with that oil should hopefully get it to crisp up nice too. Plus the fact that we're going kind of uh, hot and fast should help as well. All right, let's go ahead and get these out on the grill. All right, we've hit the 375 mark. I'm gonna scrape this off a tiny bit. This should be good. Let's throw these guys on. Mm. 
nice sizzling going on. Leaving these tails kind of out so they crisp up nice. And these are kind of skinny ones, but I was going to um, try to stab one of these. So we can keep an eye on it. Let's see how that goes. I think normally I get ones that have a little bit more meat on them. So keep an eye on this. I'm not gonna flip them, I'm not gonna do anything. As soon as they hit about um, 175 or so, take a look, take them off, let them cool down a minute and eat them. We'll be right back. All right, we should be pretty good. Uh, the temperature showing me that we're about uh, 183 and it's been about three minutes short of a half hour. Let's go ahead and check on these guys. Looking pretty good. Seventy six, one seventy eight. Yeah, they're fine. Let's go ahead and pull them off. All right, we'll let these, uh, cool down for about 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll dig in. All right, I'm pretty hungry. These look pretty good. Let's go ahead and dig in. I don't know which one I'm gonna have. Maybe this one. You crispy? Mmm. Uncle Steve shake on there is really good. Mm. So the skin didn't crisp up all the way around. Definitely on those little tails. But um, really, really good. Total time was about a half hour once they hit the grill. And these are super juicy. You can probably even let them go a little higher if you want to try to crisp that skin up a little bit more. Or you can crank it up to maybe 400, 425 for the last five minutes. That might do it. Yeah, so check out this barbecue recipe book. Again, there's about 20 recipes in here. And then the rest has uh, some empty pages. So you can go ahead and write in some other recipes that you come across uh, from around the internet or maybe your own recipes. It's only about 17 bucks. I'll put the link down below. Pick yourself up a copy. It's got a nice... Nice cover. See, I'm not afraid to take this grease and put it on the cover because I know it's just going to wipe right off. Glossy covers. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Give a thumbs up, thumbs down, whichever you want down below. Please take, take a moment and uh, just do a little quick comment. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.